thing I want to do is thank everyone who participated in this uh, arduous duty of filling out the survey and working with us. It gives us the data to make this subject real. The Diversity Inc. Top 50 is in its eighth year. Uh, we have data now on over 700 companies in total. Uh, we have more data than the federal government has uh, on this subject. Trust is CEO commitment. It's all about CEO commitment. Communications is corporate and organizational, advertising, employee resource groups, diversity council, training, surveys, and nurturing supplier diversity, mentoring, and work life issues. These are the things that we measure, and that's how we determine top three companies. Specifically for 2008, we changed a few things. Um, we looked at critical ratios a lot more closely. I think it's very important to find out whether a, com a company has true diversity or a ghetto. We actually did a much better job this year on industry, separating the industries, and then balancing by available pool. We looked at global diversity, as I mentioned, and we placed a lot more emphasis on employee resource groups. I think they're very important. Look how fast that curve rises towards when you get to number one. That's your competition, folks, if you're not in the top 10. Our data shows that if you don't have them, you'll have a very tough time recruiting them, and even if you do, you won't retain them. The number of chief diversity officers and what they do has changed dramatically. Our country will be less than 50% white by roughly uh, 2040. It's a big change. What makes a business case is money. How you make money as a consumer is by being educated. Dr. King set three conditions for a human being to become a citizen. Access to the vote, access to the ed education information, and access to capital. The difference in the auto manufacturer not caring about black people in 1960 and caring very much about them by 1980 is what I call plurocracy. Pluralism is mutual respect. That I respect you, and in this country and around the planet, respect is not given until economic power is gained. I don't think that the best consumer-facing company in this country has any idea of what Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama have tapped into in this presidential cycle. Regardless of your politics. Think about that emotion that has been elicited by two candidates who look unlike anybody else who has been a serious contender for the seat. So where are we going with all of this? We're going to do a top 25 colleges and universities for diversity. We're going to do a top federal agencies for diversity. And we're going to do our first regional surveys, which are geared towards attracting the 90 to $900 million companies we're currently not getting. And that will give everybody a chance to participate. Global diversity is very complicated, but it is a numbers game as well. Um, on to the list. Verizon's number one again. Marriott, um, which is amazing, last year they're number 46. Next cohort, Novartis. These are the 25 noteworthy companies. Whether you're doing business globally or not, you're competing globally. I want to leave you with one thing. Corporate sponsors nervous as Tibet protest group shadow a Olympic torch fund. Do you know the real cause of these protests? It's economic. The communication